Hey there guys, Grimmy here, and today we're doing a video review for Transformers Generations GDO series Springer. Now this is one of the uh, originally Chinese exclusive figures who was brought to Toys R Us in the States uh, due to high fan demand. Um, now it's a nice uh, figure, nice homage to Springer's uh, helicopter mode. Unfortunately, he is not a triple changer. But looking at the packaging, we got Transformers on the top with some Chinese lettering, a CGI of Springer. Here we got Springer in the blister card with his included bonus sword. And then you got his name in English and Chinese side you has that uh, built um, molded in Autobot symbol and on the back we got Springer's bio an image of him in robot and vehicle mode all his features and his technical data Now, like always, this is a very nice bit of packaging. But let's get this guy opened up and see what we got. Now we have Springer opened up and in his vehicle mode. It's a very nice little um, helicopter, mostly gray with some uh, green and yellow detailing. Um, and this is the repaint of the Hunt for the Decepticons uh, Tomahawk mold, which was while it was one of the uh, more popular um, Hunt for the Decepticon molds, I don't think it's really a good fit for Springer. And that, uh, as you can see, that propeller is very stiff, so it's not going to spin too well. But anyway, yeah, I don't think it's the best fit for Springer. I mean, true, he did transform into a helicopter as one of his modes in G1, but... Um, you know, I mean, it looks good for vehicle mode, but when you get him to um, robot mode, you'll see why I don't think it's a great fit for him. But yeah, it's a nice little gray helicopter. He has um, some shooting missiles, and they fire pretty well. So he's got a good bit of features. You know, you got a couple nice Autobot symbols in the back. Gold detailing on them with some blue. The green on the guns. And even has flip out uh, landing gear, which is always a plus. But, um, yeah. That's uh, Springer's vehicle mode in a nutshell. So let's get him into robot mode and uh, go from there. Okay, now that we got Springer in uh, robot mode, first thing I want to tell you, I think he's a little uh, thin for Springer. Okay, um, you know, I'm a G1 fan, so I'm more into like the blockier type of uh, builds. But he's still a very good mold. Um, you know, this was uh, Autobot Tomahawk, I believe, originally. I could be wrong, but... Um, yeah, but it's also been used for um, a Dark of the Moon edition of Vortex and Spinister from Botcon as well. Um, yeah, Spinister from Botcon and Dark of the Moon Takara Vortex. So, uh, you know, it's a good mold. And, like I said, it's, from what I understand, very popular as far as the mold goes. I just don't think it's a good fit for Springer. Um, that said, he's got a really good head sculpt, and it's really nice. The colors are pretty good. There's a lot more gray than I like for Springer, um, but uh, other than that, it's still pretty good colors. 
and he's a nice deluxe. Um, for articulation, he's got a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, hinged elbows, um, nothing at the wrist, um, nothing at the waist, but he has ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, knee bend, he has that chicken leg joint, and he has the toe and heel articulation, so you can actually get some nice poses out of him. <laughs> um, his accessories include the two blasters, which you can either post on the ports on his um, helicopter mode, put into his hands, or um, clip onto his arms, since he uses the uh, three millimeter clip system, which is nice. You can add other weapons to him if you like. And his other accessory is his sword, which fits um, right into his hand very easily. And I can't really say there's much of a place for it in vehicle mode, um, but it's still nice to have it. It's a definite good nod to his uh, G1 self. Um, but let's give a nice little comparison shot with uh, Fans Project Warbot Defender, who is uh, the springer for many people's shelves. And as you can see, the Warbot is a little bit bigger than the Deluxe Springer. And it has a more chunky divide. But um, if you can't get this guy, this guy is pretty good. And he's at least going to fill the void in your classic shelf for Springer. Um, for another comparison, let's get some of his classics uh, buddies in here. Got Hot Rod from the uh, Battle in Space 2-pack or Challenge for Cybertron Asian Exclusive 3-pack. Mine's the Challenge for Cybertron version. You got Generations Cup, Generations Blur, Universe Legends Class Wheelie. Let's move Hot Rod over a bit. And last but not least, a uh, my personal custom of RC, which is made from the animated RC mold. But yeah, as you can see, uh, Springer can go pretty well with that set. It's not a horrible way to put uh, Springer on your classic shelf. So I do recommend them if you don't have Warbot Defender. Otherwise, um, you know, get them if you like the mold, or you just want another Springer, whatever. But yeah, I do recommend it, but if you have the uh, Warbot Defender, you might not want to get it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you later. Bye.